comes. Chairman, before you close, there are some questions on this. The what's, what um, report I wanted to ask. I'm sorry, I, I that we had no, there are some questions directly to the report I wanted to ask. That the public has a wrong impression on this report. Well, Can member, I just ask them? Member, I have no objections to All you right. asking. Chairman, the report here on this, well, Western in him, West, West Con construction, give the impression to Jamaica that all the contracts or recommendation went directly to Westcon without any public tendering or limited tender. Yet on the report from the commission, page 26, table three, there were four contract, there were four tenders or um, four submission of tenders or contractors submit four bids. Westcon was number two, not number one. No, no, there were, oh, sorry, 10 bids were submitted. Westcon was not number one, number two. On page, no man, their question, we, we call this cost this one, please, just let me just deal with no man, please. No. No, please. Member, just the, ask, ask your questions. As right, that's what I'm asking. Clear and clearly as you can. Yes. It's not intended to muzzle any member no. in this regard, but one has to bear in mind also. The time. Exactly. I won't take two minutes. Page 27, table 5. There are five contractors who submitted bid, not Western alone. Page 28, table 6. Nine contractors. No, no. Page 29, six contractors. That's for the Port Murray Infant School. Western was not the only contender. Page 31, the Prairie Primary and Infant School. Six contractors. Western was not the only tender. Page 32, the Derry Primary School. There were nine tenders, tenderers. Westcon was not the only one. Page 33, Falmouth All Age School. There were seven contracts uh, contract who, who tendered on that. Westcon was not the only one. Page 35, there were at the Madras All Age School, there were five contractors tendered. Westcon was not the only one. Page 36, the Pricky, all, Pricky Pole All Age School. There was eight contractors. Western was not the only one. But the impression given to the public that the Prime Minister has recommended Western for contracts here and there that breach the procurement procedures, which is not so. I've listed all of these contracts, our tenders. That you're up to, up to 10 contractors, minimum six contractors attended. But yet, the impression given to the public that the Prime Minister recommended Western as the sole contractors in these. I need for Jamaica to know it is not so. This is dishonest, to say the least. Okay, so not require any question, any answers today, but I just want to make it clear. Okay, so a statement has been made, um, and it's, there's a response to the statement. I'll accommodate it. If not, we'll move on. Uh, Chair, question would have to go to Director of Investigation, but before he starts, I just want to make something clear, because perhaps there may be a lot of speculation out there about this particular report because of certain dates. The report apparently these with contracts which were awarded in 2000 and between 2006 and 2009. I was contracted general between 2005 and 2012. Mm -hmm. That report was commenced in 2016, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, yes. yes. By the former contractor general Dirk Harrison. Mm -hmm. right. This person, director of investigation, is what we call a legacy investigation. When he assumed office, he and I assumed office on the same day, on May 18, 2020, 
that was a report that was already in train. That's very important for the Jamaican public to understand. It has nothing to do with him or with me. It, the investigation was commenced four years after I admitted office, and a lot of people out there may be under a different, you know, with a different perspective. I will now pass across to Director Kevin if he wants to add anything. Right. The, the sense I get just before from the statement is the question of the veracity of the report. The, and I don't know, but... Um, um, thank you very much, Chairman. Through you, um, just to indicate... I'm Kevin Stevenson, Director of Investigation. Um, I think, Chairman and members, uh, the issue having to do with the timing of the publication of the ruling and the report has detracted from any discourse on the investigation report itself. Um, Member Warmington indicated that the wrong impression has been given, but I don't believe that I have commented on the investigation report itself, or any member of the commission has commented on the substance of the report. It's important to note that in the report, there are principally three entities involved. The Ministry of Education, the National Works Agency, and the Social Development Commission. The contracts in relation to the Ministry of Education and the National Works Agency, those contracts in the report has nothing at all in terms of conclusion to do with the Most Honorable Prime Minister. The substantive con conclusions in the report on those contracts was really that the accounting officers in those entities at the time failed to comply with Section 29 of the Contractor General Act by not disclosing in their quarterly contracts award report the contracts to, to the Contractor General. And that was a legal requirement under that legislation. When it comes to the question of the contracts, the two contracts um, awarded by the Social Development Commission, that is where there is a conclusion in respect of the Most Honorable Prime Minister. And the conclusion can be found at paragraph 5.1.8 of the report, which states, the Director of Investigation has found evidence which provides grounds for forming the view that the Social Development Commission acted upon the instructions which were conveyed by the Most Honorable Andrew Holness by way of letter dated December 20th, 2007 and September 23, 2009, and made payments to Westcon Construction Limited in the amount of $375,000 and $1,455,000 without the utilization of the mandatory formal government of Jamaica procurement procedures. The payments were made by the SDC in respect of works which were stated to have been executed in the constituency of West Central St. Andrew. There is no allegation or finding in the report having to do with the contracts on the part of the Ministry of Education as not having gone through a formal tender process. However, the contracts in relation to the National Works Agencies, some of those contracts, uh, when they, for some of those contracts, when the, the documentation was requested Speaking to the procurement process, those documentation were not provided, and that is one of the difficulties that we had with the report. So it is important to note that the report only speaks to the Most Honorable Prime Minister in a very limited extent, in terms of those, to a limited extent, in terms of the contracts awarded by the Social Development Commission, and the, most of the report deals with the contracts having to do with the Ministry of Education, National Works Agency. The reason those contracts were identified is based on the allegation that was made that the Most Honorable Prime Minister um, was, award, was involved in, in influencing contracts being awarded to Westcott. Withdraw that were about influence, influence all. What you're saying does not negate what I read. 
what I'm saying, the impression was given overall that you'd never attend the process. And all of these that I'm listed here is in your report that they went to tender, you have to 10 persons who tendered. So what I'm saying about premise, the influence how and where, his report to you is that he did not. But and your director of prosecute, corruption person said that he did not. So don't use this word in this committee. Don't use that word about influence. Please, your director of public of corruption prosecution said he did not. So don't use it here. Um, Mem sure. Mem Chair, uh, Chair. Chairman, if you if Chair. you will allow me just to clear up that one point, no. as I indicated, there was no finding that the Prime Minister influenced the contracts that were awarded to Westcon from the Ministry of Education and the National Works Agency. There was no finding of that. So the report is quite clear on it, so I'm not sure who gave the impression. I'm sure I'd have, I haven't spoken to that neither in the report nor in any release or publication, not in my personal capacity, so I'm not sure who gave that impression. The report stands on its own, it speaks for itself, and I would commend it to 